Brother Teacher Speaks. And what I have to say today concerns eating. And it's a very simple question. Do you have to eat every day? Every single day. Do you have to eat every day? Do you have to have something to eat every day? Have I, or can I make it any simpler than that? Now, there are some people who are of the belief, oh, if you miss a meal, you are somehow going to become unhealthy. Where did you get that from? I mean, there have been times where people have been trapped in an automobile, in a car wreck, somewhere, and may have not gotten someone to help them for a whole day. May have been trapped in an avalanche, in a cave, if you were a miner. May have even been trapped on a boat in the ocean before someone could rescue you with no food several days trapped on the island trapped in the woods trapped somewhere and you didn't have access to food or you ran out of food and you had to go several days those individuals didn't eat for at least a day or two so they survived now notwithstanding you know uh, there are certain situations that they could have occurred where um, someone came and rescued you because you became ill after a certain period of time of not eating and they had to administer medical care treatment to you and then rehydrate you and give you sustenance or food we understand that but for the most part you survived you didn't die and it is said that you can last what seven seven days without food maybe seven to ten days without food scripture says that Jesus fasted for 40 days and 40 nights hmm, that's just something to think about and there have been other patriarchs in the Bible that it refers to that fasted for many many days just using that as a footnote something to think about so ladies and gentlemen do we have to have breakfast lunch and dinner three or four days in a row every single day or can you go without breakfast lunch and dinner for a couple days can you go without eating anything for several days hmm let's think about this look at the people that are overweight extremely overweight obese and even morbidly obese you would think that they can survive off of the, just merely the fat that's on their bodies if they didn't eat for at least three or four days. Wouldn't their body be fed by the fat that's on their body, the storage that's there? Something to think about. So, I have gone for a day or two without eating. Guess what? That's been years ago, that many days without eating at all. I fasted for a day or two without eating. And I'm sitting here, I'd say healthy, relatively healthy, speaking to you, articulating. So it is possible, it must be possible that you can go a day, a two, or even more days without eating. And again, I should be an example to you that you can eat three or four days later I hope you believe that now so now where do we get this notion that we had to eat every single day now let me back up again let me pump the brakes notwithstanding some medical conditions because some people say well my doctor says I have to have some food to eat to take this medication I'm not talking about you I'm talking about people in general but where did we get this notion that we have to eat every single day? So what I'm saying in essence, brother teacher saying in essence is this. Stop falling for the okie doke. Stop letting society dictate your lives for you. Stop letting 
the food and drug and the medical industry dictate your life for you. Let nature teach you the lesson. Sometimes we should refrain from eating because some of us eat too much and our present health is the result of us eating too much and even too much of the wrong things. This is really the conclusion. We eat too much and too much of the wrong things and that's responsible for our ill health. So now, take a break. Think about what I said. Ask yourself this question, yourself this question. Don't I need to give my body a rest from eating sometimes? Don't I need to give my body a rest from smoking, a rest from drinking alcohol, a rest from doing drugs? Hopefully they're not the hard kind, not the hardcore. Let your organs rest sometimes. Because your heart is involuntary, it's constantly pumping, right? Everything is working involuntarily, on its own, automatically. Give your body a rest sometimes. And think good thoughts. Go pick up a nice book, a good read. Go for a walk in the park. Sit in the park, sit by a lake, a river, ocean, wherever you might be, and enjoy nature. Look up at the stars in the evening. Enjoy life outside of those things that you're rudimentally used to. You will find that you will be closer to nature and you will also begin to appreciate life even more. This may seem like I've just simply been rambling, but I really don't think so. For those who really know the essence of what I'm talking about, I'm just saying stop overdoing things. You, in this particular instance, shouldn't have to eat every single day fast sometimes give your body a break sometimes as we should give our minds a break about all of the cares that we deal with from day to day think good thoughts read good books and appreciate life that was all i had to say this is brother teacher let me know what you think do you have to eat every day